a little fella, you come with me. He's been looking at birds this morning, the bird book that Annie loves. We've got birdie down in hillside. Don't think I've shown you the birdie. So I'm just going to try him on. Well, I'm going to put his shoes on. But I'm also going to try this coat on that Auntie gave us. Yeah, so hopefully it'll fit him. And um, he's going to be Mummy's co-pilot today. There we go. It does fit him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you all wrapped up. <laughs> so we better go then. There he is, little Toby, sat in with Mum. I was videoing, putting his shoes on, and they didn't... I don't think I pressed video. I thought I had, but my glasses probably weren't over my eyes, so I couldn't really see. <laughs> anyway, we have been and bought an apple tree. <laughs> I didn't video anything, but we've been and bought an apple tree. It does. This is the time when I miss the camper van. <laughs> I hope it's still going to be happy when I get it back. But yeah, his coat fits really nicely, Roz. I'm really chuffed with it. It fits him perfectly. And um, yeah, I'm not a great lover of these leggings. These are 12 to 18 months. And look, you can see his like bulges. They're like bodybuilder leggings. <laughs> but they're supposed to be joggers. And uh, he looks very cute. You look very cute, don't you? Yeah, you have. You've brought your doggy, haven't you? Yeah, he's bought one of these mini, mini little doggies. I think we had given to us, I think. We had this one given to us as well. Did you? Are you going to hold it? Which is much better because you used to take the... You want to take your big dog out all the time, didn't you? So, yeah, we got a, we've got an apple tree and some rhubarb to plant. And that's why we're all having chicken three times this week. Mummy's making it stretch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> things you have to do hey we had roast chicken last night it's tuesday today we're having roast chicken tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna have um chicken soup <laughs> chicken and veg soup hey what do you think about that then so we're gonna make it stretch so we can spend our pennies on our plant that we wanted our tree I also looked at blueberries, and Sheila said about gooseberries, but I didn't see any gooseberries down there. Um, but we'll see. We just want to fill in those just a few gaps that are in the hedge, that's all. But me and Russ both always wanted a fruit fruit tree. So um, there we go. Right then, mate. We better go home now. Frankie will be home from school in a sec. She will. We better get there before she does. So see you later, aunties. We are home now. And little man and mummy are looking through this book. We are doing picture association. So mummy says the word. And a little man here has to show me which one. Don't you? Which, 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 which one it is? You're going to put your doggy down and we can show your aunties what we're doing? Hey, are you going to put your doggy down? Look, he says, I love my, love my little doggies. And it is a spot the book, a spot the dog. And your doggy does look like spot, doesn't he? So he's been listening. He's been listening as well. Okay. So it's a really good book because you can just do like associations. So they learn a word to associate it with the object. But you've also got a little bit of, of um, sentence at the bottom. So then they learn to go from, if you use your finger, they learn to go from left to right. So they're learning to read from left to right. Not that he's, just wait a minute, Minnie. Not that he's at that stage yet. <laughs> but um, he is doing association. And, um, you know. I'm not teaching you. We don't teach him to read at the stage. You just, it's just fun, isn't it? We're, we're reading a book. He thinks he's reading a book. So this is Spot's first words. He thinks he's reading a book like, um, like Frankie does. She's doing her homework, isn't she? She's reading at the moment. So I have to listen to, I'll do this with little man here. But then I also have to listen to Frankie reading tonight. Don't I? Hey. Yes, Frankie. Yes. I think I can hear Fleck waking up, I do. I think I can hear Fleck. Can you hear Fleck? 
Yeah, I think she's starting to wake up. So let's just do a little bit more and then I'll have to get a flick up. Right, book. Where's Spot's book? Can you find Spot's book? This is a book. A book. Book. Can you find Spot's book? Yay! Clever boy. There it is. You found it. Spot's book. Spot takes a book to read in his chair. So you just take their finger and you just guide them. I mean, it 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 will be like remember, you know, when they can't do it. It'll be like remembering rather than learning the word. But you're not teaching them to read. You're just teaching just different things like um, what book is for. Left to right, pointing, waiting, all sorts. So, you know, at this stage, you're not teaching them to read. You're just teaching recognition, really, as well. So, book, book. And then you'll find that they'll pick a book up and they'll start pretending to read it themselves. And that is always good. That's what Annie does. So, you know, then in their little babble that they are learning Right, we've got shoe, shoe, spots, sh got a shoe, you're a cheeky dog spot, you've got a shoe, yeah, shoe, that's it, shoe and shoe, shoe, have you got shoes on, have you got a shoe, let's have a look, <gasps> no shoes on you, no, you've got to get your shoes on. Good boy, he sat on the sofa. I couldn't remember if we took your shoes off or not, but we did. He didn't want his slippers back on. But there we go. So that's that little bit. I'm going to leave there because I think that your little sissy is awake. I do. I think you're Flick, not Sarah. I've washed all of those. Do you see those stuff that I showed you in the hall that we got on holiday? I've picked that up, so I'm going to try that on Sarah. So it's all washed and ironed. Smells delish. And But it's flick that we can hear, isn't it? It is indeed. Let's get her. Did you have a nice sleep in there? Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah. Oh. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> smiley, smiley girl. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you're waking up now. Yeah, you beautiful girl, aren't you? Beautiful girl. Yeah, you is. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Mommy's little angel face. Oh, his little slippy's coming off. Your little slippy's coming off. <laughs> and your little pom poms on. Little slippers with pom poms. <laughs> Oopsie. Mommy dropped the phone. Oopsie, say. Oopsie, whoopsie. <laughs> We're going to have our tea now, aren't we? We were going to have roast dinner for tea, um, but Grumpy's not coming home till later. So we are having, I think you've got a hold of my glasses, mate. So we are having, what are we having? We're having chicken, chicken soup. Yes, we are. I put, just put some of the chicken and the veg that I had ready into the slow cooker. And then we're going to get your comfies on. Mum's got her comfies on. Because it's been a busy day, hasn't it, today? Yes, it has. Right, let's get your tea going then. Okay, right here we go. Little man's plate, mum's plate and soup. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> We're good at doing this one-handed. Look at that, a lovely fresh food. Did fr I've been frugal this week. I am. Um, we are having two roast dinners with the chicken soup. Uh, with the chicken soup with the chicken, and it'll make. He does eat. He does like his food. Does matey, and it'll make. Um, one, two, three, four, four portions of soup as well. So frugal, frugal chicken meals this week, uh, this week coming up. Right, I'm going to have to go one-handed now because I'm making a bit of a mess of this. <laughs> there we go, I 
panties. Oh, Mum got soup down her. I was doing that one handed, one handed scooper rooper. Just a bit of scrubbing it. Mind you, it'll be alright. I'm going in the wash tonight. Um, oh yeah, drink. Sorry, mate. You can just get some water. Don't start yet. Just wait for me. You want some lemon in your water, do you? Okay. Don't start yet. Don't start. You're not starting, good boy. <laughs> Try also to teach him to hold his um and put some in first. So I cut up lemon and then I freeze it individually and um, slice it. I cut up, slice it up and then I freeze it. Because it doesn't go bad, go off. I'll just take it from the freezer. It's like having an ice cube. So you could actually put some in some water in some ice cubes and do it that way. But um, Russ has ice cubes, so I don't. And um, he doesn't like the lemon in it. Right, so we are going to teach. We're teaching this young man how to use a spoon, aren't we? Hey, you're on the big seat. No, you need to put your put your hand up there. Let Mum get this plate bowl off. So we're teaching him how to hold. Oh, sorry, Auntie, you can't really see. Can't really see him either, can you? He is actually sat on the um, the seat. I was thinking maybe of getting a proper high chair. Don't know what Grumps will think about that, but I really I had a nice high chair in um when we lived in the house before but Russ didn't like it. it did take up a lot of room um but you know I just feel like they're the bigger and so they want they want to sit up in a high chair and he is he's sitting on a pad we got a cushion pad and he's sitting on that and he's got one of these old-fashioned bibs on <laughs> I found it in a cherry shop like a few a few I don't know it's probably last month or something like that I haven't shit I haven't I didn't do a haul. That's it. So you know, you've got to watch what you're doing. That's it. Good boy. You watch what you're doing. And then you put your spoon in that way. No, you don't do that. You just do that. That's it. Good boy. And then you eat it up. I'm not sure if your bib is. Oh, goodness me. It's going everywhere. I'm not sure your bib is done up enough. But, well, you're going to eat it then. That's it. You've got to eat it up. <laughs> My glasses were all smudged as well. <laughs> oh, that was a comedy of errors, that one. And again, look what you're doing. That's it. Maybe it's a little bit too high up for you. Hey, is it a little bit too high up? Mama, do it. Okay, Mama, do it. A little bit too high up for him. I'll turn, out, turn you around and show you how baby, how to, how I was taught by midwife to hold my baby and feed them if you don't have a high chair. So you put this arm around your back. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this arm because you know, they'll be grabbing everything, tipping it all over. So if you don't have a high chair, um, mum will get to hers in a minute. Yeah, you know, it's always the same, isn't it, for mums. You want to drink? Yeah, have a drink then. <laughs> this is supposed to be a no sippy, an easy cup for them to sip out of, but they still tip it up. Was that nice? A bit of lemon tea. Le lemon, not lemon tea, is it? Lemon water. Yeah, so, um, and you hold on to that and then you feed them. But I actually feel this needs to be tightened. Can you remember these? We called them like pelican bibs, I think. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yes, it is. It's nice chicken soup, isn't it? Are you ready to get that? Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. You're such a good boy, aren't you? Hey, yeah, good boy eating his tea, isn't he? Yay, good lad. Can I have some more? I really want them to be able to do it themselves so I can eat mine when it's warm. <laughs> can mum have a bit of hers now? Yeah. Oh, God, I didn't even get myself a spoon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who lets me be in charge of kids? Say, good job, we're only dolls, isn't it? <gasps> dolls, I hear you say. 
Yes. And this is Reef called Rebo Roleplay. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Mummy's going to try and have her dinner now. I'm going to have to go and get a spoon. <laughs> yes, that's you. Let's hurry up and get your towel around you. Oh, aunties, he's just had his... Um, sink bath <laughs> I was gonna say bath but you know we don't have any baths in this house we just have showers so it's just our sink bath and he's a boy so I am in a hurry to get his nappy back on him because <laughs> boys are well known to have accidents oh my god oh. so that's why I've got a green towel on him as well I'm trying to get it so that you don't go anywhere while I've got you here and um yeah I'm sorry it's a little bit dark as well but we've got Sarah, <laughs> Sarah here in the crib. I'm trying to do that, isn't she? So it stays up. I mean, we changed, there we go. So I think you can see him, maybe not me so much. So yes, I've had this towel wrapped around you know where. And uh, let's just get you, get your nappy on. I bought out two nappies. Because um, it's night time, and I usually use um, toddler pants during the day. Um, Bambino, Mia, Mayo, or something like that, training pants. But um, I've got a three and a four here, because I accidentally picked up the wrong size nappies for him. And oh, I'm not sure these are, <laughs> these are going to be very helpful on mummies. Put them on the wrong way around. <laughs> oh my goodness. YouTube, this is a doll. YouTube, this is a doll. There we go. Comfy and cozy. Oh, I think you're just going to fit in these, mate. Yeah. I'm actually glad I got the fours now because he definitely is. You do, just dry your hair a bit. The body's dry, isn't it? See, so he's got this plate around here. If you haven't seen his video where I got him, he's got a plate around here, full arms and full of legs. And he is very cute, okay? So we get your pajamas on now. Yeah. So it's not um completely dark. Yeah, I've got the doggy. It's not um completely dark, so I can still see, but it's bedtime for babies. Soon know that our clocks will go back and then it will be darker earlier. Oh, oh he's got his nappy on while <laughs> I'm struggling. I was struggling to try to be quick then, but he's got his nappy back on now, hasn't he? <laughs> okay, mate. Arrgh. Some cute pajamas on, haven't you? Hey, hey, they're animals. They are. Timothy likes them, doesn't he? And he keeps trying to trying to ask to wear them. Well, he has got his own. Hey, yeah. Let's try that off here a minute. There you go. He hurts a little bit. Have to brush your hair, but me. He's got a bottle. He does still have a bottle to go to bottle to take to bed. They all do. Well, not Frankie. <laughs> But they all do have a bottle to go to bed. There we go, mate. And there we go. Yeah, I'll get him. Just hang on. I love that, that there's a neck plate. There we go, sweetheart. That's you done. Oh, hairbrush. Bring her version, yeah. So your aunties. There you go. We want to see you, not mummy. Oh! <laughs> so, oops, a do. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, aunties, you're going all over the place. So, oops, a do. Let me turn the legs. Make sure we can tighten that up. Can you see? Can you see now? Say, wow, what's happened? It's so bright. I don't know what's happened. I don't know why that's happened. There we go. So such a bright screen. I must have it on some sort of setting where I'd um 
or I'd just been playing with it. Mum must have just had it on a funny setting, mate. So we brushed teeth, haven't we? we brushed teeth as well. And Mummy got wet, so Mummy had to put her nightie on. But I also, anyway, needed to take my jumper off because I've got it all got tea down there. So the artist who made this little chap is giving up reborning. What a shame. She is such a talented artist because she makes all of them different. But she's got different priorities in her life now. So she's giving up, which is a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> there. Let's try and pat it down a bit. There we go. Hey, it'll be all over the place, won't it, in the morning? <laughs> There we go, mate. <laughs> there we go, mate. And there's your pop bot. And yes, we've got your dog. Say, so, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.